Today, I've pulled out some extraordinary specimens to help us go over everything you never knew about conscious. So let's see some amazing things that you've never seen before. This is a conch. Oh, that's not right. I thought this was a conch, but these are not conch shells. Because look here. See how at the end of its shell, it has one bump? Compare that to this other shell. Well, this shell has two bumps on its end. Shells with two bumps at the end belong to conches. And shells with one bump at the end belong to other sea snails. Conches are a type of sea snail, but they have many characteristics that make them very different from the rest of sea snails, like the number of bumps on their shell. And wait a sec, you see this? What's this thing inside the shell? This is a conch, the animal. This right here is its mouth. It's at the end of a long proboscis. Here are two stalked eyes. And notice those small branches on the conch's eye tentacles. These are tiny antennae that the conch uses to sense chemicals in the surrounding water while they sit motionless underwater. I wonder what they look like without their shells. <gasps> Did you see that? This conch hopped. Well, how do conches move? I thought they moved like snails. Watch closely, right here. See those small waves? Snails contract narrow sections of their underside in a pattern that propels them forward. Kind of like someone doing the worm on a much smaller scale. Oh, I was wrong. That's how land snails and sea snails move, but not conches. To find out how conches move, look here. Well, see this hard point on the conch's underside? It's called an operculum. When a conch wants to move, it digs that sharp operculum into the sand and extends it outwards. Here's what the motion looks like. Digging in and extending out. This pushes the conch making it leap forward. That's how conches move. And to protect themselves, both conches and sea snails hide inside their shells. But how do they make their shells? Huh, both conches and sea snails make their shells like land snails. Here. This is called the mantle. Snails and conches ooze a compound out of their skin called calcium carbonate that crystallizes and hardens over time. Snails and conches initially have small shells, and over time, they add calcium carbonate to this front edge of their shell, making it longer and wider as they grow. So this is the oldest part of the shell, and this is the newest. But what do they look like without their shells? Well, do they look like land snails with spiraled mantles? Or maybe they'd look like hermit crabs and have a hooked body with tiny plates at the tip of an abdomen. We'll start with sea snails. Outside of its shell, a sea snail looks like a giant corkscrew. Here's another. Do you see that spiraled mass? This holds the sea snail's organs. For example, take a look at that striped thing on the inside of this sea snail. This is the sea snail's set of gills. 
to breathe, the sea snail extends this tube called a siphon and sucks a bunch of water into its body. The water passes over its gills, which pull oxygen out of the water for this snail to breathe. And it's all hidden inside the sea snail's shell. But what about conscious? What do they look like outside of their shells? Maybe curly like a snail, curved like a hermit crab, or one giant corkscrew, just like the other sea snails. Outside of their shells, conches look like... This. This is the front, and this is the back. Here it is head on. The whole body is completely spiraled. The specimens in this video are from the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. If you're in the area, I would definitely suggest checking it out. I can't recommend it enough.